We finally reached the end of the road with Project Blue Collar, and she has come a long way. If you remember, whenever we got her, she wouldn't even run, not to mention the paint looking terrible, along with the interior, the wheels, pretty much everything about the car, including the exhaust. We went ahead and sent her off to the paint shop, have a brand new coat of paint laid down. Whenever we got it back, we went ahead and finished off the look with one of our rear drum Fox style five look conversion kits and some of our SVE drag wheels. The car already had a 93 Cobra rear bumper cover when we got it, so we went ahead and finished off that 93 Cobra look with all the replacement ground effects and a rear wing. The car got a new set of 5 resto headlights and taillights. To finish off the exterior trim, we used one of our exterior renewal kits and a set of our new hatch quarter windows. Anything that wasn't replaced got repainted with some of our 5 resto exterior trim paint. Underneath, the car got a brand new pipes cap back, set of our SVE rear control arms, SVE springs, new 5 resto front control arms, and a 5 resto power rack and pinion kit. Because the car wasn't running, we did have to go through the fuel system, replacing the fuel tank, the fuel pump, level sending unit, and we flushed the lines and the injectors. The ignition system needed some love too, so we put on one of our PDI ignition kits consisting of a new distributor and TFI module, coil, and plug wires. We even put in some new spark plugs. Other than that, we really didn't have to do much because the car already had a 130 amp alternator, long tube headers, heads cam and intake, cold air, mass air, but we did put one of our SVE 70 millimeter throttle bodies on it. And finally, we get to the interior. We pretty much gutted the interior, save for the dash, because there wasn't much gonna go back in. Once we reassembled the exterior of the car, the interior quarter trim panels were given a thorough scrubbing, rubbed down with some protectant and stuck back into place. New hatch and floor carpet from ACC was dropped in along with a new set of ACC floor mats. And our friends over at TMI helped us out with the seats, setting us up with their 0304 Cobra style Fox seat upholstery with new foam. And let me tell you, this is the most comfortable Fox seat I've ever sat in. To match those awesome new seats, we put in a set of TMI's fully assembled door panels with suede inserts. We even put in a matching suede headliner and sun visors. All the miscellaneous and broken pieces were replaced as well. We even got a new set of 5 resto seat belts. Received a new console top panel, console armrest pad, shifter, shifter boot and bezel, even a nice Ford Racing shift knob. All in all, this car has come a long way and we're really excited to be able to drive it around. Every part used in this build is available from our website, LateModelRestoration.com. Be sure to also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest and greatest videos. And while you're there, you can see all the videos featuring this project, Blue Collar.